Okay, we got another one up here. Check this out. It's a 1966 Pontiac Tempest. This one's got the 326 under the hood. It does have cold AC. It's got an oversized aluminum radiator, power steering, and power brakes. A lot of goodies. But there's got to be some flaws, and I'm here to find them. You can see that throughout most of the videos that I do. And if you hit subscribe, you can actually watch. I've got over almost 3,000 videos. That's probably over that. I haven't checked in a while. I just keep making them for you. You can go to maplemotors.com and see all of our current inventory. We update that every Monday. That's pretty much the only day that we put new rides on. Um, and it also has financing. Three different companies to pick from. Um, well, I thought that was some debris. We also got shipping. Let's go ahead and get this hood shut down. Shuts easy. For now, just sit back and relax. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Oh, a good customer of ours, Lita. He bought that from us. He drives it every day. Somebody asked me the other day, they said, do most people just buy them and let them sit? You know, I'd say from the majority of people just drive on the weekends, but he actually drives that car every day. So, some people do. Look in right here. We've got our nice door panel. Place your bets. Do you think the horn works? This one's got three points to where you can try the horn, and we'll be trying it out in a minute. It's showing 27,000 miles. I mean, come on, a 66 model, just 27,000 miles. It's just hard for me to stand behind mileage on these. For one, the odometer turns over and goes back to zero every 100,000. Underneath the dash here, you've got an aftermarket cluster with uh, oil pressure, voltage, and the temperature. Should have cold AC. They have vented all new vents in this one, which is a $2,000 option. I'd say minimum $2,000. Looking around on the interior, it's just nice and clean. I mean, I like this one quite a bit. It, it, so far, cosmetically, it looks awesome. They got a few wrinkles in your headliner, which I'm gonna say that was due for a mechanic's headliner. It's somebody that probably hasn't done it very many times. And they got it in here for the most part pretty good. You got a nice light cover here. Looks like they've replaced that. As far as starting it, quiet motor. They've upgraded the gauge over here. So you tack. Let's see. And it's working. Wipers working. Radio, they've uh, put an aftermarket radio in. Working. It's got USB auxiliary. Blower motor is cutting off. Uh, I feel like I just heard a compressor kick on too. And it's starting to get cold. So you got cold AC. You've got high oil pressure, which is great. It's around 60. We're waiting on that temperature to come on up and we're charging. And we open the glove box. It's got a good spring in it, kicking it open. Got a little bit of paperwork in there, it looks like for the radio. Uh, there's some notes, some part receipts, not very much. All right. And that dash pad's nice and clean on this one. Somebody's already replaced it. The carpet in this one, it's older, but it looks good. I wouldn't worry about it. Horn, place those bets. <laughs> Wait, it does work. Heck yeah. Let's hit the road, see how she runs and drives. No, I tell you what, I don't think this one's been gonna need gas either. It looks like that gas gauge is working. Uh, as soon as I get to rolling here, I'll know uh, if it starts doing this number on the dash, then I'll know that it's pretty accurate. Hitting reverse here. Tight, it's shifting quick. It's already moving a little bit on the dash on that gas gauge. So we've got three quarters of a tank. We can just keep rolling with this video. Um, somebody's put new seat belts in this one. It's got newer belts. Suspension, it is feeling kind of stiff on the suspension. A little bounce there. See that? That's not the seat, that's the car. <laughs> 
right after this truck, we have an open road. This is the first time I've taken this out. Uh, I was really behind this week. Finally caught up today. Everything will be done. And I'll get started on next week so that I can post, you know, at least five videos on Monday. As we're going down the road, I mean, it goes perfectly straight. And it has tight steering. Speedometer's coming up on the dash. It seems to be pretty accurate. Let's put it on the floor there. they're not pulling left or right and it's stopping smoothly so it's got good brakes on it turn signals are popping up in the middle of the dash for both sides just the suspension's a bit bumpy to get some undercarriage shots look below in the description for more information you can actually see cars currently available at the playlist on my channel and i'm posting videos like crazy guys so don't forget hit subscribe let's keep this going roll out of here it's got a good turning radius at least turning left let's try right a little bit shorter on the right turn there not much just a little bit sharper on the left pretty good the squeaking looked like it was coming from the alternator belt and it just looked like it was a tad loose so i bet we could tighten it up and it'll go away oil pressure still high on this one good 
60 pounds. Engine temperature has been at 180 and hasn't went over. As far as running and driving, this thing's great. There's a few little spots in the paint that I want to show you at the end. Nothing major that I've seen. She feels pretty good. Old van up there smoking. You see that? Golly. Got a little train coming out of the van. They probably have no idea. bump in the road coming up if you give her a good listen right here you can hear it in that one a little stiff on the suspension but it's not uncomfortable Let's go ahead and get turned around here. This test drive went well. Picking out the flaws is coming up next. So stick around for that. And we're gonna cruise through Brian's Motorsports here. If you haven't seen these guys before, you should check them out. BMS, Brian'sMotorsports.com. He uh, fully customizes cars, new, new trucks, Jeeps. He's got wheels and tires. He's got stereo systems. And he does this every day and he's done it for a long time. There's a lot of uh, Tennessee Titan football player players' cars. They'll come down here and get them customized, new Corvettes, all that good stuff. Just cruising his parking lot. He's got stuff sitting here. That's already been done there. Again, BrianMotorsports.com. You can check him out on Instagram or Facebook. He's also got his own YouTube channel. Just go over there, hit subscribe, and join him. I think you'll enjoy it. We're heading on back to the lot now. I think we're gonna go the back way. Guys, picking out the flaws up next. Thank you. Here we go, picking out the flaws. Let's walk around this ride. Anything I find, you'll know about it. Detail pictures, maplemotors.com. Let's get down here in the front, up close and personal. Looks like all the chrome is in great shape on this one. It's not really pitted up. You are, you do have some chips right here in the grill. A little chip here on the corner. Blemish here. Not too bad on the bottom here. Chips on the edge of the door there. You got a little bit of touch up paint. Little bubble in the corner of the door there. Some rust trying to come through. Down here at the bottom, you got some chips popping up spot where it's been fixed a little chip back here a little spot back there that's been filled in coming down your midsection a chip here scratch scratch right there by the keyhole door handle's been replaced little spot there
I parked just where the shadow just crosses right in front of everything, doesn't it? So watch out for that. Changes all day long. Front windshield on this one. A little tiny chip there. Trim looks good all the way around. Your mirror there, chrome, not bad. Seal around your vent windows, not bad. One chip there. Touch up mark on top. Scuff on the back window. Clean back here, back window's in good shape. Trim looks good up over the top here. You got a chip, cracks in the back. And up over the roof, oh, bird got us. Touch up mark right there. Coming up on the back, rear chrome bumper looks great, dual exhaust. A little bit of pitting on your tail lights. A little bit up here on the top trim too. Very light. In your jam, seal looks good all the way around. So does your jam. Not bad at all. Spare in the trunk. Little moisture. So it is leaking in here. And a lot of times, since it's got a good seal, it's probably going to be coming from your back window sill. Looking up in your package tray, it's solid though. Pretty clean. This looks good. See where it's been fixed on this side. crumbs out of the jam there around your trunk lid is in good shape coming on down little chips there Man, it shuts easy. Barely shut that down. Let's go down this side now. Tires are in good shape. Flip it over. spot here in the back a little bubble in the corner of the door a couple little chips at the bottom there light scratch here light scuff there that kind of stuff's gonna come out so that's just little spots on top of the paint you probably can't see it in the video but if you took some wax to it it should go away back your midsection touch up mark there mirror looks good seal around your vent window looks good some bugs on there handles been replaced back up over the back end here you got cracks down in there your back window there's some light little scratches there. They have just been from cleaning. There were some light ones. There's some. That's goo. It would come off. Down your pillar. Front windshield. We're in good shape here, guys. On top of that fender. Sweet. Made it around this ride. Let's open that door and check out the inside.
door panel on this one looks pretty good. Little repair there. Bottom of your door. Spot in the corner there. Carpet's older in this one. You can either dye it or you could just replace it. Let's look under here. See, it's just kind of faded. It's got some stains. The seat, somebody's already redone, but there's a little bit of wear in the corner here. As far as the back of them, they look good. The back seat itself looks pretty good. Your headliner is a little bit wrinkly in the corners. Starts up great. This is a great running and driving car. I think cosmetically it's not that bad. It's got a few little spots, but uh, overall, it's a decent driver. And the motor's nice and quiet. Again, the AC looks fairly new. Somebody spent a good fair amount on that. Under the hood is still nice and shiny. A little bit of a squeaky belt there. We got two belts. Uh, if I'm looking at them correctly. Looks like it may just be the alternator belt. And literally, if we tighten it up a little bit, it should go away. You can kind of see it may just be a hair loose. So that's not an issue. That could just be easily fixed with that bolt there. All right, let's come down with the hood. Guys, we made it around this ride. We're gonna head on back to the lot now. I got uh, one more car to do and I'll be caught up for this week. Thank you for your patience. Uh, it did take me a little bit longer because there were so many cars that went on Monday and I was out of town in the previous week. I'm going to get started on next week's stuff so I can get y'all at least five videos out for Monday and so on. If you hit subscribe, that helps me out. Keeps me doing these videos. MapleMotors.com financing, shipping, detailed pictures, and Monday is the only day we update with new rides. Again, you can join us on different social media, Snapchat, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, I'll be happy to see you there. Thanks, guys.